Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Hoop Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we will have, we will have another ear training lesson and um, actually it's, it's about a, a kind of a, maybe a different approach uh, to ear training, a different idea about, about that and that's, that's um, the idea is actually um, not to think like um, like transcribing recordings, um, like go outside and, and, and try to, to do a lot of um, transcriptions to, to learn all the um, that, that stuff. But, but more, um, I mean, it's, it's not really either or, I, I would say, but, but um, 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 but, but th that idea that you actually um, connect the ear training more with, 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 with uh, what you uh, actually doing on the guitar, what you are playing, yeah. So um, in a way, I mean, I, I did a lot of, of course, I mean, like transcribing stuff and solos and trying to, to play them and um, uh, different kinds of things, but in a way, um, I, I for myself, I mean, it's really also like a personal thing. What, what is your, what is your approach uh, to, to music, and um, how you are dealing with music, how you practice, what really works good, good for you, um, do you need more this, this, um, um, this input from, from outside, or you, you, you are quite like creative with, with just getting a little thing, and then you already, uh, um, the, the whole process um, is already started. Um, I'm definitely more the the um, the, um, the the second. So I'm I'm in a way a lot of of my um, my learning or what what I I like this this finding out what what other other musicians are doing or what kind of. Um, um, I mean, this is, this is all, it covers a lot of stuff, but, but I just tell you, um, I, I, just to, to summarize this thing in a way, I'm, um, I like just to, to play with my, I mean, to, to, to be, be with my guitar and, and play on that and, 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 and um, explore and be creative and practice and, and have the fun also of this, this, this playing um, of, of uh, like my, my body is moving and I, I hear uh, all that um, things what I'm doing and that's, that gives me a lot of um, 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 yeah, fun. I mean like it's, 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 it's in a way um, fulfilling. So um, I, I recently, well, um, I, I'm, I, I went through my all, all of my like ear training, um, ear training exercise. What, 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 um, like people recommended. What I got from books. What I practiced myself, and and um, like a lot of stuff actually, and um, a lot of stuff was really about um, transcribing, how to transcribe, and and that you should listen to that first, and that you liked um, more try to memorize things and then write it out later um, um, when you memorized it and and, and all, all kinds of different um, like ideas and tips and, and everything. And then I, I was really like um, thinking, okay, I, I, I want to try these exercises again and, 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 and try to see what, what I, what I, um, what I um, will will find very useful for, for, my, for myself, because that's actually the way you should really try to, to find the exercises and the things which really work great for yourself. I think um, that's, that's one, one very important thing, um, especially also about ear training, I think. Um, and yeah, I, I, I was, was thinking about what, what, what should I transcribe? What, 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 what is really something what I really um, want to also play, you know, to connect that with my, with my um, musical world and um, everything. And um, in a way, I, I, I didn't re really feel that I wanted, wanted to transcribe uh, anything in a way. I mean, 
there's so much maybe there's already so much stuff which i um which i uh, accumulated which i have and what i i what still needs a lot of practice to really be be very good at at, at that I, I i have a lot of stuff you know a lot of material and i'm 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 not really um i enjoy listening to to a lot of music i really enjoy like to 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 get this this whole atmosphere this this feel and to be really in into that and um listening for for what is going on in the music um but to really sit down and and transcribe stuff and I don't know. It really felt felt to me uh, a little bit not so interesting, not so inspiring to really sit down now and and, and do that for for ear training. And and then I, I I thought about this and and I thought about like like um why not connect that with more what I'm doing anyway. And that's that's actually the the idea here with that with that um with that lesson today is is um the the basic the the basic idea is actually you you play you improvise you are in the music you compose and 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 any time while doing that while really being in the in the zone in the space while you you are in the music and in, in the music you you like and and you are creative with that at any time you can just step out of that step out and 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 observe observe what what you are doing or what you just did or what what you want to do where you want to go now and and um and then actually you um you just take what you just played and 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 and, and going into that so, so the question is, I mean, the, 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 the idea is, let, let me show you actually. And, and by the way, there's also a PDF for this lesson down in the description below. Uh, you can just download that and this would be a cool thing. Um, it helps my work here, of course, it supports this channel, but it also has some, some, some maybe some aspects um, which I'm not, not um, talking about. I, I really want to more go in a, into more associative way here and um, so maybe also giving like as, other aspects to, to what's, what's written there but you will only get like the full package when you when you download the, the PDF but that's uh, that's with almost all all the lessons here anyway um, so let me let me just play something I mean just uh, let me just do something whatever I just played a little bit in E minor and just very simple things like a little bit of Aeolian and and um, like this this dominant uh, B dominant harmonic minor fifth mode kind of a thing. Um, yeah, back to the back to the tonic E minor. Um, okay, that's that's what I just did, what I just heard, and what I just know. And then then I just. I, I just asked myself, okay, this was this was nice, um, and I know that this was was like a dominant uh, harmonic minor fifth mode, like a, a dominant um, there in the, in the key. But am I really able to to would I recognize that if that that happens somewhere in the music on on a recording or something, or um, how how can I how do I know that? Yeah, how, wh what is that sound? What is that sound? And then, then the idea of, um, of observing takes place. This is a, the concept of once you, once you are really aware, 
Yeah, you are really aware. I'm really aware now that I will play this again. I will I will go to this harmonic minor fifth small dominant chord, and I I'm I will just really go really into that to observing that to observing this this quality this kind of tension this kind of where it wants to go what 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 is the sound yeah to to really try to to understand that in a, in a way um, um and by by doing that yeah by really observing something by by focus put your focus on something um, that almost always of course like guarantees that you will notice more yeah, then you will notice more than if you would just go on and, and play something else or would put your focus on something else, you know. Um, so to really, um, and that's, that's the idea, yeah, you played something and then you, you say, ah, okay, step, step aside, step, step, and, 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 and watch that again. Put your awareness there, really focus focus on that really of observe it yeah with your ears so let's let's play it again a little bit um, tonic e minor yeah so this is my my dominant my my um, yeah, harmonic minor fifth mode, B dominant seventh. We're trying to try to play a little bit around with that. Try to to go to the to the flat nine and really try to to hear. Um, I mean, really notice what what is that sound? What is this? That flat nine, how, how much it is, uh, how much tension does it have? How, what kind of an atmosphere it's creating? What, what kind of quality is there? Yeah, try to really, really um, put your awareness on these these different things and really try to uh, and really get your ear and to 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 focus on on the sound while at the same time labeling. Yeah, because that's that's actually the ear training. Huh? It's it's like you you hear something and you recognize that and you can label that. Yeah, that's 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 what what in a way what what ear training is about. Yeah, that you you understand you understand a certain structure and you are able to tell what that structure is. <laughs> So what you you I, I mean um, on the on the page it's it's mainly about chord progressions but but um, I mean to to when you play and you you deal with chord progressions what what you can you what you can um, listen for what you can um, what you can do so you, you in this case what I just did so I can. I can I can listen for the root progression. Yeah, I have a, a root po position, dominant sevenths going minor sevenths to the minor third of E minor, and I can just just listen for that. And I also can sing it. There is a bass line actually, but at the same time, there's also a root progression, huh? like B. First inversion minor triad sounds like yeah. Go in, 
into that, go in, into all these, these different um, things, all what, what you do, try to label that and really listen for that, for, for that label. First inversion, minor triad. Okay. Okay, and you, you can sing the arpeggio, what's written there, you can sing the chord scale, you can just sing, okay. B, D sharp, F sharp, A. F sharp, A, F sharp, D sharp, B, A, G, B, E, G, B, E. Oh, you sing the whole um, chord scale. <coughs> B, C, D sharp, E, F sharp, G, A, B, A, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C, B, A, B. C B D sharp C B E D sharp C B A G B E. Uh, singing, singing with a with a with a um, with focus or yeah, with your attention on 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 a certain thing, yeah, on the scale, on the chord, on the inversion of the, on the bass line of the root progression. And, and yeah, you can, you can put your awareness on many things. And also it is, um, it is a very good, um, a very, very good technique to, to um, learn things you, you, you are not really sure of, or you don't know. I mean, this, 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 this kind of chord progression is, is very simple and easy, right? I mean, it's just the dominant and minor going to the tonic. Um, but of course, there are other chord progressions and there are other functions in E minor, for example, which might be a little bit more uh, tricky, which, which might be not so clear. Um, so, so then take those, yeah? play those, play around with them and try to make really try to make music. I mean, that's always that's your 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 main thing in a way. Huh? That's your 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 main awareness uh, or your the um, the main topic. What you are dealing with is your music. You want to do your stuff, your your sounds, your uh, voicings, melodies, intervals, whatever. What what you really like to be really in that that zone where you where you feel and where, where it feels good and and, and 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 strong for 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 yourself you know and um and in that in that room yeah in that room in a way you you just step a little bit aside and then label things and and always go for the feel yeah it's always about the feel you have a label um for something and then you go for the feel of that how does it feel how where what what kind of oh, what kind of associations you can you can find i mean that's also a, a, a strong thing if you, if you really have very strong associations you know or very like associations which which you will not uh, easily um forget in a way um, um of course that helps too i'm, I'm just thinking about uh, certain associations but um right now i don't i don't uh, remember <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, so um, yeah, that's that's basically the um, the exercise. And um, let me just um, yeah, and and, and um, the idea is really to to get, go for that feeling aspect. You you, you have a certain sound. That's the F sharp diminished chord. Or in classical music, you could say that is an A minor sixth with a sixth in the bass. And you listen for that kind of um, diminished sound. And the difference here, you know, is you, you could just you could just go and say, okay, I I, I really want to study these diminished chords now. And you you just play arbitrary arbitrary just diminished chords and sing them in different ways. Maybe you go in, in the cycle four and sing all the diminished 
trials and, and whatever. It's of course, I mean, it's of course a, an exercise and, and it, it can also help a lot. But, but the idea here is really to connect that directly with your music, what you play. So you find, a, you find this spot where you really like the sound, you know, really this. For example, like F sharp, A, B, C, C, B, A, F sharp. F sharp, A, B, C, B, A, F sharp, C, B, A, F sharp. And listen for that quality. sharp with an added B. And also you are you are not depending on, on certain like like exercises people ma made up in a way and also you can you can you can really go for for the chords and, and the, the the labels uh, which 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 are um, working in your music. For example I worked a lot on these uh, four note structures and for me this this four note structure is really like um, one one thing I'm really um, conscious about. Um, I consider that as a diminished triad with an added four, yeah, and that's one of all these uh, 43 uh, um, four note structures. So it's a good idea to also um, um, listen to that quality, yeah, and label that as an F sharp diminished with a four plus degree. For example, I hear very strong that it wants to wants to go to the dominant now. So that's also like um, something to to also really concentrate and 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 also pre pre hear listen listen where things wanna wanna go. Yeah, this is also like <clears throat> like imagining. You know, also with imagining is also um, a good thing to to play that for a while. Listen, okay, that's F sharp diminished with this four. And then stop. And try to feel that still. Yeah, feel this is still there, this the sound, this atmosphere. And try to <clears throat> sense that, try to feel that out of your like imagination. Yeah, like inner ear. And really sing it and imagine that. Really put your awareness there. That's you, you wanna you wanna get this feel. You wanna get this feel of that chord. Okay, um yeah. This is actually like a, a kind of an idea um, I, I, um, I just just had, you know, when, when I, as I as I told as I told you, I was thinking about like transcriptions and thinking about all that. And then I thought, why not um, in a way connect it with my my playing directly, yeah? directly with the music. So I already played it. It already. Uh, came out of my my hearing that what I wanna 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 have what what, what I, I like and then I'm already already kind of um, connected and then just just in a way listen to that again step a little bit aside and and listen to that label to label wh while labeling it again try to imagine that and then go on you know I mean just um, I still have this feeling now of, of this F sharp minor. F sharp diminished with a, with a B. I still feel that in a way. It's um, it's interesting. Um, 
Yeah, to yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, this, this is an idea that to, to imagine, imagine, to, to hear, to label and all that connected with your play. Yeah? In, the, in the moment you play, you just step a little bit aside and, and, and listen. And that's your ear training then. And then whenever you feel like just go back and, 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 and go on playing and maybe it's also something what, what will also influence then your, your, the playing what comes after because you opened your ear you are more maybe aware of, of certain things about the feeling you, you're creating or you have, have the feeling that you stepped a little bit uh, deeper into the, that music um, with that exercise so yeah um, I don't have any like um, I, I, not really like like really much experience with with that exercise. So, but but I thought it's it's really I think it's really really a good thing to 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 work more from from to connect it more with what you actually just played or what what you are playing and to really make it a part of of your your um, your your practicing of 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 whatever you know. I mean, just always. Um, have this this ear training label feel perspective and then go back yeah and then maybe more and more it becomes one anyway and so okay so um yeah i am um, i i really hope that you you get inspired here also with that ear training exercise maybe it, it was really useful for you and you um you just Go for that. You you um, try to incorporate that uh, into your playing, into your practicing. Um, yeah, let me know what what you think about that. Maybe you also get some experience with time, and then put it in in the comment field below. I'm really interested in in that. Yeah, and I really ha hope it 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 helps. Okay, um, that's it for this lesson. Um, Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like those um, videos here on Guitar Academia and also click the bell button to get notifications um, because every week there will be a new um, video released. And also you can go down in the description below. There is a link to my website hupildenbrand.com and there the Guitar Academia page. There you can also find a button where you can uh, donate. And this would be really cool. I would be really happy if I see that you're really valuing the stuff, um, what I'm sharing here with you and that you really want, want to support my work here. And um, yeah, I would really appreciate that. Thanks. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. My name is Hupildenbrand.